Alright, so it is Monday, February 1st, and it's about 8 o'clock in the morning, and we're out here, and we're getting some super heavy snow right now. Um, got about five and a half inches on the ground so far, and we'll probably see another 10 to 20 before all is said and done. Uh, who gets the heaviest snow is uh, dependent on who gets under the heaviest bands from the coastal low that's developing right now. Uh, when they develop, they get what's called... Uh, um, oh my goodness, now I can't think of it. <laughs> uh, deformation bands. And uh, those are some super heavy snowfalls rates that come down in those things and sometimes even get lightning and thunder in them. So uh, it's quite possible that we even hear a couple of rumbles of thunder today. But it's coming down at a pretty good clip right now. And uh, we're going to add up uh, pretty fast with these bigger flakes. And it's windy too, so it's going to start drifting around. So it's going to be a nasty day. And uh, don't know what we're going to do all day long. Hopefully uh, we can go take a walk somewhere and put, get the GoPro out. And that's waterproof right now. I'm not using it. So uh, I'm just out here doing a quick morning opening shot to show you what's going on this is day number two of this storm and it may continue on until uh uh tomorrow morning depending on if it stalls some of the models are showing it stalling off the coast and then we'll even get more snow so we'll see what happens uh there are a lot of things that can go right or wrong with this uh depending on its ultimate outcome so we'll try to talk to you later but right now it's getting windy and getting cold and i'm getting wet well, what's really starting to add up now, as you can see, um, it's starting to climb up that fence a little bit and uh, it's getting deeper. We probably got about 10 to 12 inches right now. It's snowing pretty hard. The camera doesn't pick it up uh, as good as what the eye does, but it's coming down pretty good right now and uh, all is quiet. But I think what we're going to do is in a little while, we're going to grab the GoPro and dress a little warmer and take a walk and take a look around town maybe we'll go back down to the train station like we did in the summer months and see the difference in how it looks all right so as promised i said i would take a little walk today and uh show you around a little bit around here on the main road and there's still some traffic as you can see um not a whole lot not as much as there usually would be but there's still some out here and uh, right now I got a shoveled sidewalk to walk on, but that's going to end pretty soon. So hopefully we can get back out in the street here and uh, turn the camera a little bit. This is, let's see, okay, maybe we can get down here to this light before uh, that car comes. But we can walk off to the side too and he can go around me. But we're going to take a walk down to the railroad station like we did back in the summer months when it was green and it was warm. I think it was almost 80 degrees that day when I did that. Um, so a little bit different today. Yeah, I can hear a car coming behind me. <laughs> yeah, snow plow. Uh, gave me a little toot as he went by, I guess, so that I knew he was there. Um, so we got almost a foot of snow, basically, and uh, we're going to walk down this one little side street that we walked down the last time we went to the train station. Hopefully some of it's plowed. Hey, you get an idea how hard it's snowing. You can't even see downtown really that good. Uh, we're going by Padora's Italian Bakery right here. Um, the only coal-fired, anthracite-fired bakery in the area, and they make some really, really good bread. Uh, you ever get up this way and you see a loaf of bread that says Padora's on it, make sure you grab one because it's as close to homemade as you're going to get. Nice hearing the church bells. It's so quiet out. The cars don't make any sounds. Nothing is making a sound other than me yapping away here and the uh, church bells. You look over that way, I don't know if you can even see it. Uh, the high-rise building is over there above the ambulance garage here. And now we're going to get into some deep snow. The street was plowed. But now we're going to get into the deep stuff here. It's just a walking path, so it's going to get a little bit difficult. But, like I said, 
I was gonna show you this snowstorm. So I promised you I'd take a walk. So we are taking a walk, but oh boy, this is tough stuff to walk through. Hoo hoo. All right. So here we are at train station. Uh, it's tough to walk in. None of this was shoveled because everything is closed today. Because everybody wants to stay safe. Oh and keep their workers at home, which is a good thing. Um, but this is where we were back in the summer when my arm was still in the sling. And it's a whole different world here today, as you can see. Anybody wanna have lunch? Tables are open. <sighs> but yeah, this is the station restaurant and they have some really good food in here. We've been coming down here now pretty regular to have dinner and the food is outstanding. Uh, I guess if they're not open or I'd ask to show you around. But the main idea of this is to uh, enjoy the snowy scenes. Here we bar back in the deep stuff again. Whew. Now, this thing here, and I don't know how well it's showing up, because my monitor's off. Um, it's a bench, it's a four-way bench uh, that was put here by the Reading and Northern Railroad. What that is, is it's the pilot truck off that blue steam engine that I've showed you from time to time in different videos, the, the 425 that comes through town. And they got a new pilot truck for it that goes underneath the front of the boiler where the, uh, piston rods and stuff go in to make the steam. And since they got a new one, they decided to donate it here and make a bench out of it. So keeping with the train theme, that's what they did. And it's a pretty cool idea. So uh, we'll continue on our walk through this foot of snow. And we're probably gonna get, I don't know how much more. Some are staying still another 10 to 15 inches. If that's the case, we're gonna end up with two feet out of this thing. So we're only halfway through the storm, but it's three o'clock already. It'll be getting dark soon. So I figured I'd come out while I had some light, but whew, hard keeping the camera steady when there's this much snow to walk through. Wow. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> So, this is downtown Tamaqua, and uh, as you can see, there's no traffic out today. Oh, but there's a train coming. That's cool, we'll have to find a place to sit and watch the train, and there's looking the other way toward the high rise, toward the five point intersection where 309 and 209 meet up. And as you can see, it's a mess. Pretty cool. We just got blasted with a little bit of snow. The snow's deeper than the bottom of the train. So that's about it for our walk. That's enough for a 53 year old guy. Uh, walk down to the train station and back. Some of this deep stuff is uh, pretty heavy, so it was tough walking through. But you got to see the snow. Got to show you a little bit of the train station again. Got to get blasted by a train going through the snow piles. <laughs> that was fun, actually. Uh, and I was safe. I was far enough away from the tracks and I was leaning against the sign, so I wasn't going anywhere. But that was kind of cool getting blasted with that snow. Uh, but we're done and we're heading back. And uh, again, if I were a younger man, I'd walk further or I'd even be adventurous and clean the Jeep off and go for a ride. But we'll do that after this stops and after we clean up and dig out and then I'll show you around maybe tomorrow afternoon. 
uh, how big the snow piles are and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, what a day and what a storm this is turning out to be. All right, so it is 9.30 at night and I figured I would do the closing segment for uh, today's video. As you saw, we uh, got a lot of snow. Um, it's too dark to go out there now and film it, but I just did a measurement and we were up to 20 inches on the nose and it's still snowing. So uh, we'll probably get another couple of inches overnight, maybe two to four, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, some people are saying more than that, but I'll believe it when I see it. I got a feeling two to four, we'll end up somewhere between 22 and 24 inches till uh, all is said and done. But uh, it was an interesting day. We took our walk, got blasted by snow by the train, and uh, just kind of kicked around a little bit. We shoveled this morning, and I shoveled a few times out back for the dog and all that stuff, but uh, it didn't go anywhere. The Jeep didn't get cleaned off yet. Kind of stuck close to the house other than the walk so that's it for monday february 1st and uh tomorrow we will show you what we wake up to and uh maybe some of the cleanup effort and then maybe once the jeep is cleaned off we'll go take a ride and look around town